So the Cossacks expansion is finally here, and I figured why not play as one of my favorite hordes in the entire game and try to rule the world. And yes, the QQ happen to be my favorite nation, and that is because they start off in such a difficult spot. First of all, they're the only Shia nation, I believe, at the 14-44 start, uh, which is bad because we're surrounded by Sunnis, and we've got Orthodox to the north, obviously, uh, we've got Catholic in, in Europe, but uh, Coptic, I guess, in Africa, too. But yeah, we're the only nation, I believe. Actually, no, 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 I think you, these guys are also Shia, so that's that would be why uh, they have an okay opinion of me, for now at least. But uh, yeah, this, this is hard because everyone starts off kind of in the negatives. They all have kind of negative opinions towards me. If we look at the opinion map mode, I mean, just, just hatred all over the place. And let's not forget to mention that there's just very powerful nations surrounding me all from all different sides. We've got the Timurids, we've got the Ottomans, we've got the Mamluks. This is going to be really hard, and uh, I hope we'll, I, I'll be able to kind of enjoy some of the new mechanics and features of the new expansion. Uh, I'm going to try to survive for as long as I can. Obviously, I'd like to win, uh, but I want to definitely explore some of the new uh, horde mechanics. That is is one big thing. While I while you know why I chose to play as this nation. Um, so some of the big mechanics. This this is the new this is the new tab. The estates uh, for the hordes. Uh, we have loyalty. Influence and territory you need to have at least the hordes need to have I'm sorry the tribes uh, Which as a horde you you deal with the tribes a lot you need they need to have at least control over 33% of your territory uh, Then you need to make sure that their influence is high But not too high because if it gets too high then you have a disaster that pops up and the disaster is really bad because uh, It's something about like 50% extra less development cost or extra development cost technology cost like just ridiculous numbers so you don't want this to go over 80 percent or else a disaster hits you want to make sure the loyalty is high enough because you still get bonuses you're going to get bonuses for these tribes having power um in at least if it's above 30 percent if it's above 50 percent then you can have more interactions so what i can do right now is i can give him i can give the tribes uh 10 ducats oh wait no no 40 i'm sorry 40 ducats that will include that will increase the loyalty for the next 10 years um but that doesn't really matter because you need it to be greater than 50 uh so we need to do something to make the tribes happy before we get to actually get any of the bonuses because some of these bonuses are pretty nice um we can ask for additional manpower this 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 number happens to be about six thousand a little bit under 6,000, which would be cool. Uh, right now, we don't have influence above 50 or loyalty above 50, so we can't do that. Um, well, we can't do any of these interactions just yet, but the next one would uh, allow us to get a, a general with 20 extra, 20 tradition, and then we get five um, Eastern Swarm cavalry units for free, pretty much. So that's pretty nice. And then recruit a minister. I believe this is just a level two advisor, uh, fifty percent cheaper. So yeah, these are these are nice. Obviously, I would love that that gang of general is amazing. Uh, that is kind of the one you want. But we we're gonna need both um, influence and loyalty to be above fifty. Uh, now the scary thing about influence is you don't want it to go too high. If it goes too high, then like I said, that disaster is going to hit, and uh, and they're going to try to succeed from the country or something like that. I guess that's the idea of what they're trying to do. Uh, let's go ahead and hire a general really quick, and let us go ahead. Ooh, oh, geez, one fire. That's it. Uh, our king is 26 years old. Our heir is a 210. Okay, we will keep that in mind. I don't know how my economy is doing just yet. Uh, I'm going to hold off on advisors for now. Uh, in terms of rivals, let's go ahead and rival the Ottomans. I'm just going to rival everyone back. I don't want to make anyone too mad. Crimea and Georgia. Okay. So Crimea. I wouldn't be surprised if like a few decades into this campaign and I've got like five rivals. Uh, just as one of the only Shia religions in the map. Um, I guess the only Shia countries I should say in the map. I mean people are just not naturally not going to like me very much. Uh, let us go ahead and check our provincial unrest. How are we doing here? Uh, I have kind of modified and increased autonomy to make sure that this is a little bit better. Uh, it was uh, it was way worse before. Uh, what is this? Civil War. Have less horde unity than 50%. Oh, okay, okay, I get you. So we just need to make sure that that does not hit. Um, haven't Regency Council. Haven't Regency Council. Okay, we found some typos. Uh, have no current disaster. And average non-overseas autonomy is 20% or higher. This would This would increase my national unrest plus 10. Holy crap. Have less horde unity than 50%. All right, well, let's make sure the horde unity uh, is not... 
I, I'm not exactly sure what that means, horde unity. We'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, now, as a horde, we want to build a lot of cavalry units. Uh, that will be our, our go-to. Uh, again, I'm not really willing to... I don't want to make anything too much yet. I don't want to make any sort of big uh, changes just yet to my economy because I was going to start to build units, but I, I decided that was probably a bad idea. Uh, let's see what, what province this is that they want me to conquer. They want me to go to war with Georgia. Um, I don't know if I can accept this yet. You want me to, here, I can improve relations with these guys. Diplomatic reputation plus one. I like that. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I do, as a horde, start off with uh, a free free diplomat. So everyone starts off with two. Since we're a horde, we get three. Yeah, so I guess I could just offer the alliance right now. I mean, I need alliances. Would I be able to vassalize these guys? Not yet, but probably in the future. So let's go ahead and get an alliance because we're not. I, I promise you, we will not find any alliances anywhere else. Uh, so that's for sure. Are, are these guys also? These guys are Shia. Okay, good. So we do have a few. There's there's two Shia nations. Uh, one of them might take over the other. I guess I could try to help these guys to the south take over the other ones, and then we could vassal feed them at, at some point. Um, are we beginning? No, we we haven't begun uh, any sort of missionary conversion just yet. We want to make sure that our piety is, uh, we want to be pious because that is going to give us extra missionary strength and I, I want to convert everything over from Sunni to Shia, uh, being the QQ. And I will refer to my nation as the QQ forever because I do not know, I don't even try, I don't want to even attempt to pronounce this one. Uh, that's going to be too difficult. I like lack of piety, piety too because the extra tax and the less uh, technology cost is great, more manpower. But just for the single fact of, of having extra missionary strength is really, really important. Very, very important. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and press play. I think we're ready to go. Let's see how many people tell us that they hate us because I'm sure that's going to happen. 18,000 manpower. Uh, I want to stay on, on good terms with Timurids. Uh, the Ottomans, we, we can wait. You know, we don't have to worry about them right now, but they're going to be a, uh, a, a, a kind of a, a looming threat as the campaign continues. I'm glad that the Mamluks don't mind me too much. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we do stuff with my diplomats too. Completely forgot about that. And I will, I don't want to royal marriage you because I, I don't trust that, I don't know how long that is going to last, that relationship. Um, let me improve relations with the Timurids as well. And I do need to set the provinces that I want. I don't even know what provinces I really want to take right now. Okay, it's the third, 13th of December. Okay, so I went over one of the mechanics. The other, another big mechanic is this new uh, opinion well, we can show opinions, I'm sorry, but uh, it's show diplomatic feedback. So there's this, and we can now manually change our attitude, which is pretty cool. I can be friendly towards these guys, and I guess I should, right? Um, I cannot enable manage attitude for your allies. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a new there's a new trust value, which trust has always been a part of the game, but now there's actual value for it, so the player can look and see exactly how much a AI maybe feels, an AI feels towards another. Uh, we have favors, which is the new big thing. Uh, as we are allied to them, we will gain a favor every one year, uh, as well as when you go to war and you just, you know, you help out an, an alliance, you're going to get like five or something favors. You can use those favors to cash them in later if you want to pull your alliances into another war. It's it's going to be it's going to be more like that. You're not going to be able to just call up anybody, which is I, I'm I'm a big I'm a big user. I'm a big uh, what's the word? That's like a big strategy of mine. When playing EU4, I like to ally to a nation and then just pull that nation into every single war that I can. When no matter what, if I have to wait, if I have to give them money, whatever it is, pull allies in. So I'm going to need to make sure that I focus on this new favor system because it's going to be really, really important. Very, very important. Uh, looks looks like you need to at least 10 favors to ask them to prepare for war. Okay, so there's a prepare for war button. And then uh, I can get for and then ten more favors, and I can make I can get I get their trust to go up. I guess uh, join offensive wars. On checking this box will prevent them from calling me into any offensive wars. Uh, no, it's fine. I'll help you out if you want to. I think that we both want to go to war with Georgia. Uh, the other one is the territory. So we go to we can go to Ger uh, Georgia. Uh, I don't know why I almost just stumbled so hard on uh, announcing that. And uh, we can look at exactly the nations that they want. Georgia views Van as a province of a strategical uh, utility, uh, which is interesting because it's not red. I have to look into the, uh, the the discoloration, vital interest. Okay, so the red is vital interest. I'm guessing the yellow is like they're kind of interested in that. Uh, I need to mech definitely notify the nations around me. Like these, I I'm, I'm telling people what I want. Uh, this is like when the, when the AI wants your provinces. This is what I'm saying. I'm saying I want your provinces. Uh, who is this? 
Yeah, I want that. Uh, I want the Arabian Peninsula because that might be one of the only ways I'm going to be able to expand in this campaign is through the Persian Gulf and down south. Uh, but that is it for now. I wonder how you... Uh... Oh, okay, there you go. So now we can check on the Mamluks. Mamluks look like they want Caraman, but nothing with the Ottomans just yet. Don't want to don't want to claim any. I'm not. I don't know if the AI knows. Yeah, they, I, I'm sure the AI has to know uh, if you're claiming like you're you're saying that this is where I want to expand towards. Uh, so I'm wondering if the Mamluks would be mad at me if I tried to, uh, you know, obviously claim their 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 provinces. I'm sure. I'm sure it would. I'm, I'm not technically claiming it. I'm just saying it's of vital interest. I want it. Uh, I want it through any any means possible, pretty much. So that is bad. Uh, dang it. I don't really want to royal marriage you, but I guess I will. And boom, that's going to satisfy the mission. I can get this diplomat back, and I can begin to fabricate claims on people. I think I want to fabricate on, a obviously, a nation that doesn't have uh, any... Wait a second. Are you... Let's look at... Let's look for the Shia. Are you Shia? Religion in the province Shia? Shia. Okay, this would actually be a great nation to go after, since they are... I don't have to convert anything. I mean, I'm already having to convert a whole bunch. The problem is that uh, going after a fellow Shia nation is going to decrease my piety. So that would be bad. Uh, if I go after a non-Shia uh, nation, then we're going to increase our piety. So I should probably just do that. I should probably go after Georgia, I'm thinking. A lot of nations decide you usually end up going to war with Georgia anyways. Uh, oh, I can, oh, wow. Tribal conquest. So do I get a Cassus Belli for I think I just figured that out. I get a Cassus Belli for anybody, do, don't I? Just being, a, just being a tribe? There can be no peace between tribes and settlers. Aha. Uh -huh. That is right. However, uh, can I go? Yes, tribal feud. So I've got a Casas Belli's pretty much against every surrounding nation. I don't need to claim a province, which is which is excellent. Tribal feud. I mean, obviously, tra uh, you know, uh, claiming provinces are good. Don't get me wrong. So let's go to war right now. That's that's beauty. That's beautiful. Completely forgot about that. Well, actually, let's make sure that we get ourselves. We already got a general, didn't we? Yep, and he is terrible. Do I want to risk putting my king out there? No, because I don't want to be in a regency council for nine years. That would be bad. Uh, let's put you in there. Should I go to war with Georgia? Would Georgia be tougher? I feel like these guys would be a lot easier. Um, and what religion are they? They're Sunni. Okay, so we will get... It looks like we'll probably get a bonus. We'll get some piety. Yep, 25 extra piety. Tribal feud, aggressive expansion. This is excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that right now. Let's make sure that we settle in. Uh, now, where are they at? They're they're located on the highlands. That's not super ideal. Uh, now, my fear about going to war with these guys, what well, is a buffer zone? But I'd rather take it away from the Ottomans. I'd rather the Ottomans not gain this power. Uh, so that's that's one good thing. I guess it's not really a fear. I like having the buffer zone, but you know, having a buffer zone there is only going to last for so long because eventually the Ottomans would take these guys over. Um, who knows when, but yes. So we'll go in after these guys. Uh, actually, no, here, you go up like this. 1K, stay there. 7K, go this way. Another nice thing, I like I like the addition to, like, the Ks. You know, it's, like, it, it's not just going to say 10 or 7. Uh, it will give us decimal decimal points. So when we go into a battle, when we get out of a battle, I guess I should say, uh, it'll say, like, you know, 6.8 or whatever, however long, however many uh, uh, men are still in these regiments here. Okay, I think that's about it. I don't think I need to do anything else. Now, I do like to, I, I do want to continue to fabricate... I'm sorry, not fabricate claims. I want to improve relations with people. And the Golden Horde would be absolutely perfect if I could somehow ally to them. Uh, that would be amazing. So we're going to try that. And we'll see what happens. Oh, wait, they've got it. They're, they're building. Let's go to war right now before anything else happens. Whoops. I'd rather take away... I would rather take them away from the Timurids. I completely forgot I was going to need that diplomat. All right, and uh, Golden Horde has declared war on that nation just south of Muscovy, uh, and I will let them. That's fine. They can do that. You can do whatever you want, dude. And let's take this. Yeah, let's get some extra piety. And uh, too bad we can't. I guess we could. Uh, let's just go after the AK. That's fine. They'll reinforce. That's okay. Too bad they're located. Well, I guess it could be worse. They could have been located on the mountains. Highlands are still pretty bad, though. Uh, they did have their uh, unit maintenance low, so that's nice that we got to enter in and, and attack them before they gang their unit maintenance back, or I guess the morale back. So that's excellent. So this should be a pretty pretty easy war somewhat. Uh, I need to make sure that I continue to keep my tribes happy, though. Uh, let's say, let's have some stay back. 
Actually, you know, you just go down south. Now, there's only one fort, so that's good. And I'd like to just completely take these guys out here. I want to want to wipe them out, take all three provinces. Shouldn't be too difficult. We are fighting in the mountains, which is bad, but at least we made sure the general was in there. I want to wipe I want to stack wipe them obviously now. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll wait for the seventh stack to finish up cuz he he'll finish up any second now. Let's in, let's increase the speed to speed 4. Yeah. And then we'll just meet in the middle. Uh because this unit should be done soon and when he's done, oh boom. There you go. Uh, this is a level of one fort, right? Level one fort. What? Oh, level three. Ha, what? A level three fort already? That's uh, that's pretty good. I I thought I don't know why I thought level two forts. I thought uh, base was like level two forts in the start of the game, but I pff, I don't know. Maybe I didn't I, I didn't recognize something. Okay, so our economy seems to be doing good. Uh, I I don't know if I I, I want to. I don't want to, I don't know if I really want to, how's my heir? He's a 2-1-0, he's actually way worse than king, than the king. Maybe I'll try to kill the heir. But again, I don't like being in a regency, especially not as a horde. That's not good. Mm, I'm going to wait. I'd, I'd much rather have a, a strong army. Crimea has declared war on Theodora. And yes, there's some Eastern Asian wars going on. That's fine. Timurids, please keep yourself distracted. Please don't bother me. I'm just trying to be my own man right now. Leave me alone. Uh, now, wait a second. Can we go to war with the south? Yeah, we can. Tribal conquest. There we go. Uh, but they have more and more alliances. We need to wait for this this region to kind of break apart before we attack. I mean, I might attack Georgia next. If they only have a 10k, tra uh, 10K uh, stack of troops, then we should be able to handle that pretty easily. Should I hire any mercenaries? No, but I, I let's go ahead and get a few more cavalry units. Let's see how many cavalry. There's like nothing in terms of cavalry. There's definitely not enough. I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do two more. Peace offer? I don't think so. We'll wait. We'll wait it out. Uh, I've got thirteen thousand manpower. Maximum is twenty-two thousand. Uh, let's go ahead and use this guy while we wait. Let's use this extra diplomat. Georgia doesn't like us. I could probably ally these guys too. Uh, I'd I'd rather vassalize. The southern nation, and then and then vassal feed, the Shia nation up to the north, but when, when how far it's it's possible, just not it's not yet ready. Yeah, not not ready just yet. Okay, gang piety and prestige, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, can I start converting things over or what? Do I not have a missionary or what? I'm confused. I have one missionary. Sunni negative two percent, non accepted culture developments. Total missionary strength in this province still negative. Oh, it's it's oh okay, it's getting better. Oh, wait, it's still not ready yet. I mean, I could take a long time to convert that stuff. We need more piety. We need to continue to go to war with nations that uh that are not officially Shia. Okay, a little bit more piety, we'll be able to convert that stuff over a little bit quicker. Is there any sort of? I'm wondering if there's any policies that I can. Act oh, there's no policies just yet. I forgot about that. I have to look at more missions. Still don't see any specific mission that I really like. Uh, anyways, guys, this should be a really, really interesting campaign. I, I, I hope you're excited. I'm excited at, and, and really scared at the same time. Uh, this is going to be really difficult. But, uh, but hopefully I'll be able to explore the mechanics a little bit. And, uh, and we'll just see how it goes. But anyways, guys, if you like this campaign, please consider leaving a like. It helps out tremendously in these part one videos of a series. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.